What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's YouTube video. This will be a little bit different. I decided to do some 30-day challenges throughout the rest of the year, a combination of some obviously more fitness-focused and also some health-focused. This is kind of a combination. I'm gonna do 30 days of meditation. I'm gonna just do 10 minutes a day. One, because I think I've seen people do like an hour or two hours, and I just think that's very unrealistic. I could maybe do that for like a week, but after that, I definitely know it's something I want to stick to. So we're gonna go with just 10 minutes a day, and hopefully it's something that sticks beyond just the 30-day trial or the 30 day test, whatever you want to call it. But one thing, of course, as I start this trial or this test, we have construction going on outside. You guys can kind of see like the construction, they work on a gas line, I guess. So while they're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and use these noise canceling headphones. I'm not gonna play anything through them. I'm just gonna have them on to try to once again, limit the amount of outside noise so I can go ahead and just like relax and meditate for about 10 minutes. It's not like that, the ohm or anything like that. It's just gonna sit there in silence and hopefully be a little more present. Uh, hopefully that's not cheating. I don't think it is to have like headphones. Once again, nothing's playing in them, not even brown noise, just the noise cancellation aspect of things. But I'm gonna go ahead and set a timer on my phone for about 10 minutes. And then, um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do day one of a uh, 10 minutes of meditation. All right, well, <clears throat> That is day one. I will say not very successful. I think most of the time I spent thinking about how's this look on camera? Should my eyes be open? Should my eyes be closed? What should I do with my hands? Um, is this gonna look like I'm meditating? Like all that kind of stuff. So um, a lot of stuff that probably isn't exactly ideal what I should be thinking about. I should be thinking about, I don't know, other things. Things that make me a little more present, things that um, might be on my mind, but this pretty much the entire 10 minutes was thought about, okay, how am I gonna film this? What should this um, concept be for the video? Am I doing meditation right? So I might watch um, a quick video or two, just like, I don't know, like proper meditation. I don't know if that's even like a thing. Cause right now I'm just thinking, okay, I definitely don't wanna be laying down. Cause I think I'd like fall asleep or just be tired. So I definitely wanna do it like sitting upright. I don't know if I should like cross my legs. I don't know what like, my hands can be, be crossed. Cause they were like just in my lap clasp the whole time. I don't know if that's proper meditation, something like that. So I might do a little bit more research off camera. Um, and obviously hopefully do a lot more meditation off camera as well. Just to once again, just have that as something I'm not too worried about. Cause once again, I'm thinking, how's this actually film? Is the lighting okay coming from the side? Like there's a lot of things like when I do film, once again, whether it be in the gym, at home, in the kitchen, whatever it is, it's not just doing the thing, but it's doing the thing with a thought of, okay, how's this gonna turn out on camera? Stuff like that. So day one down, 10 minutes, uh, definitely flew by. I will say 10 minutes is definitely not long. An hour, as I mentioned, it's just, it's just too long. I have stuff I need to do, client check-ins I need to get to, stuff like that. But 10 minutes, I can definitely find 10 minutes in my day to do some sort of quiet meditation, whether it be in the morning, evening, maybe even in the sauna. I don't know if that can really count, but like I don't really do anything else in the sauna. I sit there for about 15 minutes. I don't know if that can kind of count as daily meditation, but for now, um, I'm definitely gonna do a little bit more research, see if I'm doing it correctly or if there's kind of no like proper method. But I do think once again, eyes closed, rather still sitting upright, stuff like that um, are probably the big things, obviously having some sort of quiet space. But without further ado, that's a day one down. I'll probably touch with you guys maybe maybe after a week or maybe even just halfway through, do like day one, day 14, day 30, and kind of give my final verdict on how things went. Without further ado, I'll see you guys at the next update. Just did a little bit of research, well, I should say, on YouTube University, watched a couple videos about meditation. There's different styles. I mean, it sounds like there's a whole lot more than just like sitting in silence. But one of the basics, I will say, is coming from the book. Let's see, what what was book this? Um, the book of mindfulness in plain English. There's a little bit of review that someone did. And the big thing there is actually kind of did some things right and some things wrong my first day. So they say you actually do want to bring your legs up and do a crisscross. I guess technically they want your feet on top of one another somehow. I don't know exactly how, but I'll definitely be doing crisscross from now on. They say you would can either meditate with your eyes open or your eyes closed, but if you do your eyes open, you want to look into the distance and not fixate on anything. So I think for me, it's going to be easier to close my eyes, which I kind of had my eyes open at the start of the first meditation I just did and then close them later on. So you do want to sit upright. Typically you want to have no support. So I guess I kind of did it wrong having the couch to be able to relax. Uh, but you should have like pretty much no support, legs crisscrossed. And then as far as the hands go, they said you could cuff them in front or you can do some sort of like have them kind of dangling on your knees, something like that. 
and then really to focus on just your breath. And that's kind of like the main source of one of the meditations. There's, it sounds like there's a lot of different variations, but the goal is to focus on your breath and not have, once again, basically what I did, which is kind of a fail, of thinking about a million other things, right? Is the camera still recording? What's the time left? All that kind of other stuff. But rather just focus on your breath and breathe through your nose. So I think in the future, it'll probably be, once again, hands on knees, legs crisscrossed, more support so I'm not actually leaning back on the couch if I do it on a couch or a surface. And then, more so just focusing on the breath, closing my eyes, stuff like that. So that was very helpful. I probably should have done that before I did day one, but you know what? Um, just wanna see, I guess, kind of like what I thought I was gonna do and then what I can correct. So I did some things right, some things wrong. So definitely moving forward, um, I will be doing the crisscross, the focus on the nasal breathing the best I can. And they do say it takes time. Don't criticize yourself. If you focus on the nasal breathing, then you think about, oh, like what else you have to do that day? Um, client check-ins, whatever else I have today's gym workout, stuff like that that cross my mind. Just try to focus on the breath and have that kind of be the priority. And then and you can kind of once again hopefully build up a tolerance to it and get a little better at it but yeah for now i'm gonna go ahead and just take that under consideration for the next time i do this and then as well as once again they do say try to have a quiet environment so i'll probably use my noise canceling headphones unless maybe i'm in my room or something like there's no construction outside stuff like that so yeah without further ado that is day one as well as some corrections i'll make over the next couple weeks and i'll see you guys once again at the next update and we're now on to day 15 of the 30 days of 10 minutes meditation. I uh, got my reminder to actually do it just now. So I've been setting up a couple things, a reminder, a timer, and still using the headphones just to make sure that there is pretty much no noise or minimal noise coming from other things like um, my parents, brother, Maisie, stuff like that. So also ignore the crazy hair. Uh, I will be getting a haircut here shortly, hopefully later today. But I will say a couple things. So one, this is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. This, um, the Focusing on the breathing, my mind tends to wander. Like I, not want to say I have like anxiety, but I'm always stressed, thinking about other things, what I need to do with work and business and coaching and clients and uh, everything else going on in the world. I always kind of am thinking about something else. So to focus on just my breath and have my mind kind of go blank has actually been pretty hard. Um, it's been a little bit of a struggle. I notice I catch myself focusing my breath and then my mind wandering and then having to focus my breath again then my mind wandering. So I will say this is a lot harder than I initially thought. We're going to go ahead and get into day 15. I'll check with you guys after and yeah. I don't need you guys to watch me sit in silence for 10 minutes. So uh, yeah, give me 10 minutes. It's another day down. It does get a little bit better. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit more, I guess, used to trying to kind of quiet my mind. Maze is doing a big stretch. Um, but a couple things as far as I didn't mention this. So the setup is a little bit different. So I think when the first day I did it or last time I filmed on day one, I like had my like my back relaxed, my hands here, clasped in my lap, stuff like that. And I've changed it up because I did do a little bit of research. And you say typically, like ideally what you want to do is like kind of stack your feet in like a weird way that I just don't have the mobility for. So I just do crisscross applesauce. Um, so we're just gonna cross our legs here and then not have any support on our back, but rather hold ourselves up. So I don't, so there is a gap between my back and the actual couch at the moment. I'll also occasionally do this in my bed and just make sure I'm off the wall. And then as far as what I do, um, kind of keep an upright posture. We want to keep our head straight or neutral. We don't want it down. We don't want it up. And then I kind of, I personally found comfortable, like what I find comfortable. They said you could do your hands clasped, but I put mine just on my um, knees like this and kind of have them relax. And I'll put my headphones on and then I just like close my eyes and then I focus my breathing through my nose. But occasionally the problem is if you're stuffed up or it's kind of allergy season where you might be because it's springtime, I do occasionally only get like one nostril because I have like I've congestion on my left side so I can breathe through my right. So that's kind of annoying. I did get a little bit of a head cold as well um, earlier in March because um, I'm doing this throughout March where, excuse me, I was actually having to breathe through my mouth, which is kind of annoying because I was just so congested up top. I would try to take like uh, a naphrin or something and clear up my sinuses. But of course, like my nose would start to run and after 10 minutes it would be, my nose would run. So I have to stop and actually blow my nose or I have to breathe through my mouth. So just make sure hopefully you're healthy, you're not able to, or you are able to breathe through your nose. And that's what I focus on. That time I, I kind of kept track. I think I broke my kind of like my focus on my breathing about four times um, throughout the last 10 minutes, which is actually definitely better because typically it's like probably a dozen, if not more times I'm breaking the thought of my breath. And that time I tried really, really hard to really focus my breath the whole time. And I didn't really kind of get off too many times. So I think I am getting better at it, but I also haven't noticed any sort of like, uh, I guess, improvement outside of just meditation. Like I don't, I think people talk about like, oh, like mental focus, a little bit of clarity, general, just like um, relaxation, like minimal anxiety. 
I haven't noticed really anything the last 15 days besides spending time and getting better at meditation, which I have done, but I haven't noticed any benefits outside of just getting better at meditation itself. So I'll kind of have to wait, I guess maybe day 30, I'll start to maybe reap some of the benefits of doing this. But for now, it's just the fact that I'm getting better at meditation, which hopefully will lead to the impact outside of meditation itself. But that is another day down of our daily meditation. I'll probably touch in with you guys or touch base with you guys Honestly, probably just wait another two weeks and we'll touch base on day 30 and go over the next 15 days, the experiment as a whole and see what I noticed in terms of changes or anything like that. But until then, see you guys soon. Oh, I didn't mean to wake you up. Were you meditating? Were you meditating? <laughs> but today is the final day of the 30 day meditation challenge. I guess you can kind of call it that, but I've been meditating every day for 10 minutes. That's not too long. I've definitely seen some videos and done some research. People do it for like an hour a day. I honestly don't know how anybody could do that for an hour a day. Like, I mean, maybe if I worked out from like 10 to 15 to 20 over like an entire year, but to an hour of meditation and like the meditation, I guess that I'm doing is trying to like focus on your breath and kind of how your mind go like blank for an hour. Like, I just couldn't, I would freak out. I feel like I'm being unproductive and stuff like that. But uh, one thing I do wanna mention is quite a bit of my meditation has actually been going down in the sauna. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing to do. I didn't really see anyone kind of saying it was a bad thing or com uh, commenting on it either way. But when I do go in the sauna, I'm in there for about 15 minutes. And what I'll do, I'll go in, I'll go ahead, splash some water on the coals, heat up the sauna, and I'll go ahead and do my meditation in there. Because one, I only do nasal breathing in the sauna. And two, I'm already gonna be in there for 15 minutes and can't really have my phone in there because of how hot it is. So I kind of paired that up a little bit. And that would require me to do it a little bit later in the day since I do a sauna in the evening. But it's one of those things where I think it's okay. And I was still able to get like the right posture. I was still able to focus my breath. I was still able to, um, yeah, keep basically my body alert or like my positioning proper and then meditate. But um, we're gonna do one more last day. So I've got my tripod set up right there. I'm gonna meditate for 10 minutes and I'll go over the 30 day challenge as a whole. And that is a wrap on the 30 day challenge. As you guys noticed today, I did not have my headphones because right now my house is empty except for my dad downstairs in the basement. But when my mom is home and my brother's home and there's other noises going on, I will put on those headphones still just to get a quiet setting for when I do do my meditation. But right now, since it's basically very, very quiet, my dad's downstairs, I mean, I heard some birds chirping, I think a car drove by. But outside that, I was pretty um, much able to just focus on my breath. And I feel like I've gotten a lot better at meditation itself, like the act of meditating, of getting into your proper position and making sure that my uh, my body's controlled. I'm not like leaning back. I have good positioning of my spine and everything else. And able to focus on my breath. I know I sound a little congested, but that's kind of just a part of the spring season here in Ohio. But I don't think, or at least I personally have not noticed any changes really outside of getting better at meditation. Excuse me. So. A big thing there is uh, uh, some people that have done the, um, this in the past have realized like, oh, they notice themselves a little bit more calm, a little bit more relaxed outside of meditation. They're starting to able to uh, maybe appreciate things a little bit more or stuff like that where I, I just really haven't had any like aha moment of, oh, meditation has done this for me or that for me outside of my daily routine. Because I will say, I do do cold plunges in the morning. I do saunas in the evening. The cold plunge in the morning is definitely kind of my like awake alert um, it definitely has all those mental benefits and I've been doing it for so long, probably over a year now, I think since I first released that like 30 day challenge video of doing the cold plunge every day for 30 days, that has definitely, that like, that was an immediate, I knew it was something hard throughout the day. It made me more focused. It had that mental kind of like benefit or that mental grit and resilience build up where meditation, it was supposed to kind of make you a little more calm and more present. And I will say not, I don't know if it's because like what's going on in my life. I'm, I'm moving here shortly. I've got the cookbook. Um, cookbook release coming up, which will have been released by the time this video comes out. But I feel more stressed and anxious now after doing meditation for 30 days than I did before. But I think that's more contributed to the external factors going on in my life. As far as, as I mentioned, like literally I'll show you guys, this is kind of crazy. So um, I'm moving in with Katie here shortly, moving to an apartment. And just to give you guys a quick update, like my life is very hectic right now. This is my current hallway. This is all like, this is like a bed, bed frame, desk over here, desk chairs. I mean, like rice cookers, cause we have to furnish an entire apartment. I haven't, um, I've been at home for a while. She's been up in an apartment in Dayton and 
what she has currently is more so just like help her survive PA school, but not really like a proper living situation. So we've been ordering stuff. We've been trying to move in. We've been trying to get the lease figured out. Um, been working on like finances and everything and how we're going to split that. It's just like, it's been very a lot. And then plus all obviously taking on more clients because this is a kind of a, a time when I would say people think about their health a bit more springtime, summer. So got a lot more clients I've been signing up. I actually got three to kick off later today. It's just, my life's kind of been a whirlwind and I guess it was a good time to do the meditation, but I also, <laughs> I got better at meditation, but I don't think I reaped any benefits of like, oh, I'm more at peace with myself now and I feel a little more calm and like at ease. It's like, no, I'm kind of pretty stressed and the way I get rid of my stress or minimize my stress is to A, do work and be productive, so make strides towards whatever my goals are, cold plunge in the morning and my workouts. Like those three things really help me stay on point and the meditation, I don't want to say it was a waste, but I definitely, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be continuing. I don't think I will. Maybe if I feel like I'm really, really stressed, I might go ahead and meditate. But for me, taking my dog for a walk, reading a book, doing the cold plunge, working out, stuff like that, like almost like active meditation or moving my body is what I really find helps me de-stress and um, helps me focus on yeah, just enjoying the moment, taking my dog for a walk, being outside in nature, that kind of stuff. But without further ado, that is my 30 day wrap. Um, yeah, as far as meditation goes, um, definitely got better at meditation, got better at focusing my nasal breathing. But as far as everything else goes, I mean, I did some of the sauna, I did some in my bedroom, I did some mostly on the couch in here because I just love how much sunlight there is. So if I do it like right now, it's just like a great day. And occasionally I'll throw my headphones and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't think I'll be continuing this going forward, but it was a fun challenge, definitely something that personally challenged me. I didn't want to sit down and just be quiet for 10 minutes because I have so much else to do, but it was one of those things where, okay, I have the discipline to do it. I got it done. I felt a little bit better maybe right after I did the meditation, but I was also kind of like, oh, well, I spent 10 minutes sitting in silence. I should go do some more work. So maybe it made me more productive for the fact that I just not wasted, but kind of like didn't do anything for 10 minutes. But that is a wrap on the video. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer those. Without further ado, I'll end things here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And also, let me know if you guys have any other 30-day challenges that you want me to do. I've got a couple planned out for later this summer. If there's anything specific you want me to do, health, fitness, food-related for 30 days, definitely let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.